Hello there, and uh, welcome, or perhaps welcome back, if you've been here before. Uh, and today we're going to say hi and welcome in my little greenhouse again. Uh, the last video I did, uh, which was just like a little knit and chat, was also out here. So I thought, you know what, the weather is good again today, um, but it's also just getting better and better. Why not try and, and use that and yeah, be out here today again. So yes, I am here in my lovely camping chair. Um, and today I actually got some, not today, but the other day I actually got some plants out here. So now I have tomatoes and I have chilies. We have, what more do we have? We have some bell pepper um, and some cucumbers out here. Um, that uh, my sweet grandparents came and helped me both uh, source <laughs> at the um, at the shop and helped me plant and I'm so happy uh, though we did have a bit of frost this night so I hope they're all right but yeah uh, they're all good and I'm really happy about it and I got some sunflower seeds out there as well that I can't wait to uh, hurry up and get in the ground and and everything so yeah I thought why not just use this I put up uh, my parasol to give me some shadows so today I don't need to have my cat one um, yeah and otherwise um, welcome again to uh, to my a chat about knit this is number five um, my name is Michelle Michelle Knappman I am behind by Michelle Knappman here on YouTube as well as on Instagram and TikTok where I go by the same. I am 26 years old for a little bit still. On Wednesday I turn 27, which is the 1st of May. Yeah, um, and yeah, I, uh, I live in Denmark on the countryside, as you might already know, or perhaps can feel. Behind me, behind Adam plant boxes out there, some beds. Uh, behind that is a field <laughs> and I really love it. Um, as I said in my other video, when I'm out here uh, I might be interrupted by the train. Um, so once in a while I might uh, have some art cuts if I don't, if I don't forget to <laughs> to stop when it comes, but yeah. Um, oh yeah, one last thing. Um, because that's part of everything now. I live with long-term pain. So this is about me and knitting, but also the fact that what knitting does for me as a person living with long-term or chronic pain. Yeah. Um, today, I actually don't have too much because I've only finished one thing. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna take a sip. I have a cola with me today. for some energy, some sugar. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, but I do have uh, one, two, three works in progress, three whips. I have one finished object. Um, but yeah, but first, before that, let's talk about what I'm wearing because I am wearing my T number one by, uh, from, by, from my favorite things knitwear that I lit, knitted last year. Last summer, finished it, the summer last year. Um, it is in dark blue, so if the details are hard to see, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I can perhaps pop a picture in somewhere here. Uh -huh. um, yeah, I knitted it in um, Aveta. Mm. I knitted it in, uh, in the Aveta, so that's the sock yarn. That also means that though I knitted my size for the oversized version um my gauge was a bit uh, tighter um because i uh, because the yarn doesn't have <laughs> it's not the um the yarn that is meant for the um pattern so this one is a bit tighter than what it's supposed to be it is is it a medium i think it's a medium i usually do medium but sometimes i do large um I don't mind it. I like t-shirts that 
um, it's not completely tight, uh, it's not loose. It's like in the middle. Yeah, I like it. And then, I thought you should see, I am wearing my little yarn skein earrings, these yellow little funny ones that I made myself. Um, these are made from fibro clay and they're so cute, I love them. I have a few and I love making them once in a while. As I said, I do have terribly many hobbies, fibro clay being one. <laughs> So I thought, why not combine my fine clay uh, hobby with my yarn obsession, knitting obsession? So that uh, these earrings are from. I also have uh, some. I have some that looks exactly like these, but in orange. And I've done some different size, uh, colors, and I'm still wanting to do more. So yeah, my phone said things. <laughs> So yeah, this is what I'm wearing today. I do have a blazer because it's been a bit cold. So I have, I've been quite blue today actually because I've been wearing this um, the white and blue stripe to blazer on top and I wear blue jeans as well. So blue with blue on, but that's what that is. So yeah, that's what I'm wearing. And uh, as I said, I, I, uh, I actually only have one finished product yet. Um, and I think the reason why is because this project um, has been, um, well, it's been a bit hard on me um, because I had to rip out the entire um, entire top from. I ended up actually going all the way down to the uh, to the beginning of the arm armholes um, and not just where I ended the top. But this. It's very stretchy, so don't worry if it looks small. Uh, this is a team top or a camisole or whatever you want to call it, and it has this absolutely gorgeous um, pattern. It is um, cabled and ripped, sort of mixed. It's a self draft. Um, I think you might have seen it before in one of the others um, where I talked about it. I've been working on it for quite a while. I really like it now. I'm so happy that I finally found something for this project. Uh, of not for, for the yarn. Um, and I'm really happy about it. I um, I didn't do heli heli knitting even though uh, you probably could. I don't know. Because um, I was switching yarn on each um, on each round in the beginning. <laughs> um, in the beginning of the round, uh, this one is knitted from bottom on. Um, and I, I knitted it around, changed the yarn, knitted around, changed the yarn. Um, and um, I think it, it turned out fine. I don't know, because there's um, cables, I didn't know how, how that would work if I were to do helix knitting where I would have to uh, just move stitches over without knitting them and what if I moved over some stitches that needed to be switched you know for doing the cable um, so I didn't do that I just uh, changed and when I reached the uh, the flat knitting I knitted back and forth and changed back and forth and changed and for the top here uh, just these small um, straps I didn't do anything I just knitted back and forth they were it was too small, I thought, for doing that. It has a square neck and everything. I haven't actually haven't um, uh, blocked it yet, washed it or anything. But it fits nicely. It's a bit so far before I'm, I have washed it. It's a bit. It could be a bit tight in the arm in the armpits, but still, I don't think it's going to be anything. Um, otherwise, I'm going to loosen up the eye cord. Um, I think that might do it. Um, but yeah, and uh, I'm really happy about it. Um, yeah, but it, but it did take me some time, and um, so this uh, magically is actually my only finished object. So now there's a plane over me. I hope it's not too disturbing, but if you hear weird sound, it's a plane. It's one of those small ones. So yeah. I have uh, knitted this one in uh, Garn Labs uh, Merino and this is the colour Lemon Curry 
uh, I love it, I love yellow. So no, no, nothing there. Um, I used under two skeins, under two skeins, but I did use more than one skein. So for the price, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say what two skeins cost because um, that's what I, that's what I paid to make this right now. Um, and yeah, um, they were uh, 160 a piece for uh, 100 grams, I think. So that is 320 Danish crowns I'm talking about here, <laughs> um, which is just under 43 euros and just under 46 US dollars. So fair enough. There's a, because of the cables, there do there does go a lot more yarn in this um, than if the cables weren't there. It could be fun to do the exact one just in ribbon. Perhaps one day, but yeah, my finished project, my only, <laughs> I think. I've decided this is my only, it's been a while, so I think this is my only finished project. Um, I'm not really sure, but I'm gonna say that. Okay, um, I'm gonna I have my little tablet. Uh, here beside you um, and I'm going to go on to works in progress because I've set I have three works in progress at the moment and I am very close I'm itching in my fingers to cast on work last time I was actually talking about having this sort of like creative uh, my creativity was just like wasn't there and I had a hard time figuring out what to cast on and what to do and I didn't feel like I had any ideas and I don't know that all came back to me I my head is is full of ideas and plenty of things to do um, so yeah um, that means that I have currently three casts on but I am impatiently as I finished the other top, I'm thinking that now it's okay to cast on some more, but I do believe that one thing I really, really want to cast on, I need the needles that I'm already using two places. Oops. Um, and one of the places is in this poppy tea for my mum. We bought this yarn. Uh, it's the alpaca from Drops. We bought this last year sometime. Um, when we were out and about shopping <laughs> in the yarn store and my mum is um, often cold so we decided that it wouldn't hurt for her to have an unpacked t-shirt um, because I make, <laughs> I make the mistake myself uh, thinking that um, alpaca is not warm um, or not really knowing how warm it actually is is probably more the right thing to say. So I have a I have a thread that's been caught on something. But yeah, this is the poppy tea uh, from Petit Knit. I uh, I like it so far. I'm really um, intrigued by the uh, the shoulders. Let's see if we can get <laughs> the shoulder up here. Um, by you know the the way that it runs down here, so it it gives you that. Um, Saddle shoulder-ish, or is that seam of a regular shoulder, and still has some some raglan without anything. I just think it's nice, and it's still done in in the way that it's not like with this. This is a uh, saddle shoulder, um, and where you have to pick up for the sleeves afterwards. Um, while here, you knit. Um, you do have to pick up for the front. Uh, you knit the shoulders and you pick up for the, f uh, and then you pick up from the f the the front. But you don't have to pick up for the sleeves as well, like you do with something like that. And I think it's nice sometimes to to have a bit of both things. So I like that on this one. Um, I think it's gonna be cute, and nice and warm. Um, for my mum. So yeah, right now I'm just on stocking it. I'm, I don't know, missing some centimeters still. Um, and then of course the sleeves and the neckline in the end. 
So yeah, this is the Drops Alpaga mix. And it is color 2925, which I figured out. <laughs> I was in Lurkin, is uh, the color Rust. So yeah, um, I think it's nice. The um, As always, for me, I think Petit Knit's patterns are fairly clear. They are they're easy to read and everything. And there's not really much to it. Um, so yeah, I, I, I like it so far. Um, she's not the one I knit most from because, not because I don't like her, I love her pattern, I really like her patterns and I have knit a lot from her, but I just, I also really want to try other, others, I, but I always know that if I need something, there's always something to come back for, and for my mum, I was like, she wanted something simple, and I know Petit Knit has these simple, but, but pretty, but pretty, everything is pretty, it's not that. But I just knew that there was something that I'm, I was sure she was going to like. So yeah, um, I'm really excited for her to have it. I'm really excited for what she's going to say. She knows she's getting it, it's not like it's a secret or anything, but you know, uh, I'm still excited. So yeah, this is uh, one of those. This is on <laughs> three and a half millimeter, and that is the problem. Because the second one I am knitting on is the um it's a test knit uh, by uh, crafty care here on um oops i dropped some stitches why did i do that how did i do that that's probably more my oh well i'm just uh, gonna talk and pick them up uh yeah this is a test knit for crafty care uh, here on uh, YouTube as well, and by the same on, on Instagram and, and TikTok, so nothing there. And she, uh, well, she designed this absolutely cool, geometrical, different kind of top. You can actually, I actually have the front panel here. As you can see, <laughs> this is uh, kind of different, and I really think it's cool. Well, it's going to sit something like this, uh, and then there's going to be collar on it. I'm really excited. Um, I, I keep on having things. <laughs> I am uh, working on the back as the next thing before uh, assembling up a collar, and and it's just really fun. Uh, I really think it's a fun pattern, it's a fun, it's just fun, but yeah, <laughs> I am using uh, three and a half millimeters for this one as well, uh, so I am stealing, because of this one is flat, I have to use both of my three and a half, and the other one I can use one, um, so um, when I'm knitting on this, I steal the three and a half millimeter from my uh, poppy tee, um, but because I used the property for like transport knit or waiting time knit um, when I'm out, <laughs> I switch it back and forth. So yeah, I just been to uh, I go to some uh, pain management um, at the hospital. Um, so I've just been there uh, two times this week. So that's why it's on my property at the moment because I've been there a lot. Um, but yeah. So it has this pretty ribbon at simple, pretty double rib at the bottom and everything. And I am knitting mine in, um, it's called the Yadigand, uh, New Oreso. That's what the yarn is called New Oreso from Yadigan. Um, and it's in the color. Yeah, this one is one I rolled up because I made a mistake. <laughs> um, 2122. I, can't find Yadigan's um, names. I don't think they have names on their um, on their yarn colors. So it's twenty one, twenty two. Um, yeah, and it, this is a mix of linen and uh, cotton and uh, wool. So it's actually been. If you saw my ten. Or 11 knitting uh, spring patterns. I've talked about this yarn 
and I'm really really happy for trying it out. Uh, it mixed match <laughs> mixed it matched the um, uh, gauge that Crafty Karen set, and and I just thought that was like then that's what I need to do. I made a little uh, swatch and it fit perfectly. So yeah, she also really I really think it's cool. This knitted from bottom off, as you perhaps can guess, but. Um, here on the side, I don't know if you can see it, but you you have these um, decreases for the uh, waist for your waist if you need that, and as well uh, the, uh, increases for the bust area, but mainly on the side of your bust. I think it's cool. So yeah, this is my test knit for Kiara. Um, and I'm really excited and I'm soon gonna, first of all I'm gonna fix what I just apparently uh, picked, uh, where I pulled out a uh, cable. <laughs> and then I'm soon gonna get back to it, I'm really excited. There is some time left on the, um, on her test knit um, and as well as I talked to her and explained, she did um, make it longer the test knit so I don't think it's, it's not gonna be a problem for me now but Due to, due to, oh my god, <laughs> due to everything with my pain and everything, I just asked her and said, uh, when I was asked to test knit it, I said that I really want to do it, but I don't know how I feel and I don't know, um, because sometimes it's just nice to have something simple, something where you don't have to think, um, some, because test knitting, you kind of need to think about, does this work? Uh, is this right? Because that's what test knitting is. You need to count a lot and everything. You need to, you know, read the pattern and figure out uh, <laughs> if, it, uh, if it's if it, and, and knit it up. So you need to, and you're one of the first. So there might be mistakes, and I really wanna, I really wanna be awake for that. We really wanna be, be there and, and yeah, par partake in it. So. We made an agreement, but I don't think it's going to be a problem uh, because she uh, made it longer anyways. So that's absolutely cool. Um, so yeah, that's my uh, my second one. I always forget to drink when I'm doing this, so now I'm doing my best to remember. So yeah, um, my last uh, work in progress is a pair of socks. I somewhat managed so far this year to make a sock for the first three months from January through March um, and I thought someone <laughs> one commented on my in, my TikTok uh, when I showed my last pair and said hey that's kind of funny you should keep on doing a pair of socks for each month and I'm like that's a good idea why not they not necessarily become for myself because I do have a pair I'm gonna knit for my cousin but a, a sock a month that's like First of all, doable for me, I think. And fun, because I really love my knitted socks. Yeah, by the way, I'm actually wearing my kuntu today, but they're, they're in my pants. Or in my, my pants. Ugh, they're in my shoes. <laughs> but yeah, I'm wearing those as well, to be honest. But I am working on some lace pattern socks. These are from Top Down. Let's see how much you can... See on these. Is there anything? I'm just gonna. I think we're there. These are called the Frost Blomst socks. They're by a Danish designer who goes by Grunegano. Um. And I I I just fell in love with the pattern. Um. She used to have a web shop and I think she might have closed it down and uh, I actually wrote to her, I don't know if it was last year or before that um, well, I fell over the socks on Ravelry and I just, I fell in love um, and I'm gonna pop a, finished, a picture of the finished one in I think um, I fell in love with the picture uh, the, with the socks and I was like I need them <laughs> but I couldn't purchase them on Ravelry for some reason and I couldn't get them from her website so I like, wrote a message to her I was like is there any way 
um, and she wrote that she would make them available on Ravelry. Um, and when I looked afterward, it didn't work, and I just thought, well, if you close down, she closed down. It's perfectly fine. It was just, you know, um, it might just be me. I can always try later. So I just saved them and had them saved on Ravelry, so you know I could come back. And I came back, and they were available to buy. And I was like so happy. <laughs> so I heard up and purchased the pattern. Um, and yeah, now I'm working on them. I am working on them in, in uh, more Yadigan. <laughs> this is Yadigan's uh, bamboo wool in the color 1426. That looks like this. And I do think I have to say add or gift or something here because I uh, helped at my local yarn store where I now actually have my internship but I helped out with something at one point not under my own internship um, and she was so nice to gift me some um, give me some opportunity to to uh, get some yarn I said, thank you for that uh, and it didn't have to be right at that time so I've been getting I've been picking out something slowly as I've been figuring out what I wanted to knit and this was one of them, as well as something I showed last uh, last podcast. She yeah, had, but it's not for anything special. It's just because I was I had. So, um, and I probably would have purchased it myself anyway. But yeah, I got it for free, so you know. But um, I like the yarn. It's really uh, it seems soft, and I'm really excited to. Um, to, to try these socks on when they're done. Um, the pattern um, I like in general because I like what it's going to be. Um, I've decided to do some different things as to what the pattern says um, because first of all, I need, as you can see, I need two socks at a time, and the way she written the pattern is for knitting it on um, uh, double pointed needles for sock knitting when you knit with the five needles. She does mention magic loop, I believe. I think, I'm up by the way, I think this is only a Danish pattern, I'm not sure. But, nonetheless. Most of it is charted, so you can use the chart if you're, <laughs> if you're interested, you can, in, in, basic use the chart you can buy the pattern in Danish and if you have if you've made a pair of socks before you can use her her it's for me as well it's the it's the lace pattern that's exciting um, but I uh, have made some changes I'm trying to write the non ravelry as they go but as for now um, I using I'm using what is chart B um, for uh, for the cuff and then I am repeating it an extra time to make them a bit longer and I've also sized uh, down to 2.25 on just the cuff part uh, just to make it a bit more snug to see if I can keep them if I can have, make sure they stay up because I'm not sure how they're gonna sit on my feet um, I hope they're gonna be nice they are sized different by using different sizes of needles. Um, I think it's cool. <laughs> Fine if you, so you just need to hit uh, hit it and um, yeah. So that that does mean you have. She has. Um, I'm knitting a 39, 40 euro size, and then she has one larger that must be 41, 42 or 40, 41. And she has a smaller one, but it's fine. Um, it's gonna have a heel flap and gusset, I believe. Um, yeah, but I just think I've actually already picked them out and started again because when I started, I the way she wrote it, I could only knit one at a time, and then I just thought I'd made a mistake that I didn't have, but that's what what was. And then I realized using chart B instead of chart A would would mean that I could knit them uh, two at a time because 
I hope I'm not saying too much, but <laughs> I'm not telling you about the charts itself. I'm just telling you that the two charts are the same, but some of the stitches are moved from one side over to the other, which is making the middle, what is the middle of the sock, go a bit to the side. Um, uh, when in chart B, it's in the middle. No, I hope you get what I'm saying. But, yeah. Um, just a few more charts for the foot, and I'm, I don't think I, there's any problem in using those. Um, so yeah, so uh, this is my last um, whip. I'm working quite a lot on these because, well, now that I figured that out with the charts, it's just knitting, just following the chart, and knitting, and following the pattern and knitting. Um, so yeah, I, uh, that's just. That's just really nice. Um, I like knitting two at the time, so I'm <laughs> kind of glad almost that it ended up this way. Um, and yeah, I'll keep you posted. So that was all for my whips. Um, and also new yarn. <laughs> And I also got the, the I only got uh, one. Um, I got a, uh, I got more new yarn, and that is what f that's for my um, new cast on. That is the next one, that the one that I'm itching to cast on. But I think I need the three and a half millimeter for some of it. And that is this gorgeous, gorgeous. Look at this. This is. Llama wool. Oh, llama. It's llama. Baby llama. From Gun Lab again. Because sometimes you need to spoil yourself with some lovely hand dyed yarn. And I did. <laughs> uh, and this is in the color Oh Holy Night. Um, you match my nail polish. Pretty. And this I am going to knit the mellow tea and I talked about it before I think as well as my in my uh, spring knitting patterns um, and I'm so excited uh, this llama should be really good for um, for like summer knits because it as well as the merino wool it's really breathable um, and and it regulates your temperature so I'm really excited about that um, and uh, I, I'm just really excited to uh, to try it out. It goes uh, the same as uh, the merino that I got from her. I think it goes uh, 400 meters for 100 grams, so 200 meters for 50. And I got, I'm pretty sure I only got three. I might have a fourth that has been popped in the back of my closet, but I don't know. But I don't remember if they cost 160 or 180 a piece Danish crowns, but it's fair, I think. Uh, it's the same as uh, for my um, my yellow top there. Um, it's the same price, I believe. Um, but I'm I really uh, I'm really excited for that. Um, yeah, and uh, I've been having that melody on my to knit list for a while now. To try it last year, um, didn't work out, chose the wrong yarn. So here I am again, gonna try and it's gonna be for my next cast on. So <laughs> I really wanted to cast on uh, a bit a while ago because um, Vicenit, who is the designer behind Mellow T, have actually done a, a knit along with the Mellow T just as I got my yarn home. Um, but as I was working on the other things, I was like, uh, and I was having the, the yellow one on my needle at the same time as three others, I was like, or as the two others, I was like, I need, I need not to do that. Um, it's going to be too much for me right now. Um, so I didn't. Um, but I'm, I'm ready, I think. I think I'm, plus my sock is going to be finished soon and that's going to be, I'm gonna have one less thing on my needles. When that's it, I love having quite a few different pieces with different 
uh, levels of um, difficulty or uh, I don't really call it difficult. I don't think things are necessarily difficult. I think it's all about the fact that they're um, missing a word, but they're not necessarily difficult. They're just challenging. And they might seem difficult because they look intriguing and they look wild and everything but that doesn't mean uh, that they are difficult or anything um, I just like have, having the different levels of challenges if you can say it like that I like having the stock in it regular I can knit and I can chat or I can watch a movie or sit in, uh, in the passenger seat in the car <laughs> and look out of the window at the same time and I like being challenged and having to use my head and looking at a, uh, a chart and or um, doing uh, you know cables or something like that I really really like that so so yeah um, but Melody is very much a stuck knit t-shirt um, well, I believe you have to go back and forth for a while but that's what, what it is um, so yeah, that is all of like the knitting stuff from this time. If you don't really want to listen to a bit of a life update or just an update in general, um, thank you so much for watching so far. Um, but otherwise, I thought I might tell you a bit uh, about what's going on. I have to I have up some notes, so it's not because I don't remember what happened in my life. I just have to turn on my <laughs> remarkable in here. Um, so yeah, because I wanted to just talk about a few things, so this isn't going to take forever. <laughs> um, first thing, uh, if you saw my knitting chat, um, you have might notice this one that's right here next to me. This is my spinning wheel uh, that I bought very cheaply. Um, and uh, my brother just was here the last weekend and helped me try and fix it. So now I can... Now I actually have a pedal to move it around. Now next thing is to make sure that the strings that make uh, the wheel go around uh, stays on the wheel. <laughs> uh, right now only one of them is on, so I can't really move it so much. Um, but um, I'm, I've been tingling a bit with that and trying to figure out what to do. Um, asking on help on TikTok, asking for help on TikTok. <laughs> Um, and I'm trying to uh, lure my brother out here again to help me with it. Um, but I'm really excited. Um, so, uh, a new hobby again. Smart. <laughs> but whatever. Um, and if you want to follow along, I am thinking about making a little video vlog thing of me trying to, when the wheel works, trying to knit for the. and uh, not knit. <laughs> Trying to spin for real for the first time. I have uh, spun a tiny bit on a uh, drop spindle and it was fun but I feel like I need something where I can... I, I just wanted to try that. That was that just seemed more like me to try a wheel like this. Um, so yeah, um, that's one thing that's happening. Then, um, as I said, I got the yarn from the place where I work or I'm doing my internship um, to figure out how much I can work. And uh, actually today I was there. Um, earlier today and it was really nice. Um, there was customers and I got to help and, and everything. Um, uh, I'm there mainly to help with like uh, knitting trouble or if you need something for uh, you know if you have any problems or your questions or something about your knitting um, I'm specifically there to help you with that um, but if they're busy in the store I I do my best to help people f you know uh, find the yarn or um, sell it on the uh, machine <laughs> yeah it's I'm only there an hour, two times a week, um, and it's good, it's fun. I feel so alive, <laughs> I wake up when I go down there, but um, it's 
uh, it's still hard. <laughs> I just, I didn't take a complete nap. I just sat with closed eyes and listened to something for like 15 minutes before doing this because I just ended up being so tired. And that was after me just sitting and knitting and chilling and watching some podcasts. I get so, I, I get kind of knackered, um, if you can say that. Um, it's okay. I tried to say myself. Um, but yeah, navigating this world of pain and feeling like you've done a ton of work, even though when you look at it, it's been like so much when you usually was able to do like this amount of work. Um, it, it's such an odd feeling. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, I feel like it's going great. Um, and I like it, it's fun. I get out. Um, so yeah, it's 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 cool. And, and then last thing, it's my birthday. I should perhaps heard in the beginning. It's my birthday next week on the first of May. It's my birthday. I'm turning twenty seven. I'm so excited. I'm gonna spend the evening um, with my parents at their house and my brother. Bird. <laughs> uh, my brother and then my uh, my grandparents are coming by as well and we're gonna do some barbecuing or grilling okay, I don't know what you call it I'm gonna grill I'm gonna I, I've, I've narrowed it down so much that I want some salmon grilled salmon um, and I haven't really made it any further I'm not a big potato fan so I'm gonna find some something to eat with it um, but yeah I'm really excited and in general the weather is just turning so great now it seems it's been raining and about five six degrees and frost some nights but the probably from today more or less it should keep on being good weather and next week at least we're gonna have around 20 degrees celsius which I'm so excited for. Um, it's also made a plan to grill and knit with a friend here. <laughs> if the weather uh, turns too bad, we can go down here. Um, if it gets too cold, or perhaps we can just sit down here and then open the, the door and just enjoy the fresh air. Um, and I'm really excited for that. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna, I try to have as, as many, <laughs> not as many, but I try to see some friends or some family every week um, while still not overdoing for myself, but it's really important for me to see them and it gives me so much energy when I'm with my friends, um, even though I'm tired when I get home, but it gives me, it fills me up, um, so yeah. Just, I'm, I'm, in general, I'm just excited for it to turn warm and the weather and everything. But, um, yeah, that was a short, weird life update, I think. I don't know if it was short, but it was a life update of what's going on. Um, and yeah, otherwise, I, um, I'm going to sit here now for the last part. I just really want to say thank you for looking, um, for watching along. And, um... Uh, thank you uh, for wanting to be a part of my little uh, corner, my little space here. Um, I uh, I love it. I it's my little um, my little free space for me to just chill and you know talking to you here uh, is so nice to to do. And uh, yeah, thank you, thank you for listening. I'll try and. Uh, link uh, all the um, patterns uh, down in this description box and um, if you uh, if you like this video I really hope that you want to give it a thumbs up a little like um, and uh, well if you want to see more please do it um, <laughs> and I hope you want to uh, subscribe as well uh, would be lovely um yeah uh and then i hope to see you next time remember you can find me on instagram and tiktok as by michelle knapman 
Um, and then I just want to say stay safe, have fun, and see you soon. Bye!